Well, today we're cutting up some apples using a, an apple slicer to core them. And we're doing that because I'm going to try to make some, uh, I'm going to make some cider. Uh, we have here, um, let's see, what kind of apples do we have? We have some Honeycrisp, we have some uh, Shizuka, we have Wealthy, we have Dayton. I think that's about about it. Some apple, some some apples that fell from the tree, and some that weren't good enough to store because they were had a bug bite or something. So as I core them, if there's a blemish or a rotten spot, I'll just take it out. And then after we get done here, I got just a few more to slice up, and then we're going to try this juicer. So, and then we'll chill the cider and. And test it. So this juicer, you got to cut the apple up in order to get it down there. And since now you can, you can grind up the core and all, I suppose. But you know, there's not going to be a whole lot of juice right there in the core, and it probably go faster if it's not grinding through the seeds. So I'm I'm just throwing the cores out and all the bad spots in there. A lot of these wealthies, they were kind of lopsided. Um, a little bit of bitter pit or a bird peck there, but I didn't know this, what was what caused that, and I was thinking maybe it had been a bug when it was really small, but as I'm cutting these up, I'm finding out, no, that was frost damage. So the actual, the apple inside is, looks in good condition. The apple itself looks in good condition. Um, Except for that one blemish on the outside there. So I can cut that off and break it off. Throw that away. The rest of the apple's good. It wouldn't have stored, stored well. So they went in the, the other bucket. This is a Waring Pro juice, Juicerator. I must say it's going pretty fast. Uh, not having the cores in the apples, I think, are probably speeding it up quite a bit. I'm going to be pouring the cider into this freshly used up orange juice jug. Let's see what we got here. Oh, look at the head on that stuff. Slice. The uh, wealthy apples have a little bit of a pink, pink flesh. Striped pink in them, or striped red. I'll see if I can get a picture of that. Yeah, look at that foam. Oh, Oop! I'll leave that in there. So, yeah, you see over here, the uh, wealthy apples have. They're starting to turn a little brown now, but they got some pink in the flesh. So. They're uh, they're giving the, the cider. I'm gonna get more than a gallon here. They give the cider kind of a reddish cast to it. This thing is really loud when it's on though. So I'm gonna turn it. Well, let me show you how fast it juices. They made this thing smoky gray, and it's hard to see uh, the fluid level unless it's unless the lid's off. It pours faster. I will pick it up. Nope. We gotta get the foam out of that. So I'll show you how to do that over here at the sink. Okay. 
microphone. I think we need like a strainer. Yeah, that would help. Have to come up with that idea somewhere. Oh yeah, I know we have to pop that jug back up. Hmm. So what can I say about the juicer? Well, it works faster than the one man can keep up with. Uh, so I was going through that stuff pretty fast. It does make a lot of foam, maybe because the apples were pulpy, uh, sweet, soft, I'm not sure. But I get a lot of foam there, so you can see the <laughs> liquid level. So I'm going to have to let the foam go down. And uh, I, got, I know I got more than a gallon here out of uh, a heaping five gallon bucket of apples. Some of which I just threw out away too. Um, and the pulp comes out this side. Uh, it doesn't look as dry as it looks like a real thick applesauce. Um, not quite as dry as. Uh, apple cider presses would do it, but and there's no cores in there either. So, well, now it's going to take me longer to clean this thing probably than it took to put five gallons through it. The juicer ended up making a really fine um, applesauce. Uh, probably a third of the liquid was still in a, like a like a foamy applesauce. So I guess you either have to stir it up and drink it with the cider, or maybe it's because it was a pulpy apple, uh, so the apples were getting a little soft, I'm not sure, but it made a lot of foam, uh, applesauce I should say, uh, and I'm trying to strain it. Finally after getting it all strained, I ended up with a little less than a gallon from a five gallon bucket. Um, and I got it strained through a through some, uh, through some, oops. It's still quite cloudy, but it's really good. It still has a lot to settle out of it, but I mean, it's good the way it is. This has Shizuka, Wealthy, Honeycrisp, probably a little bit of Macallan, and Dayton. <clears throat> what can I say about the juicer machine? It was really quick. Um, if I did it again, I'd like to do it outside on a picnic table, so I can just hose it all down afterwards. It's fairly easy to clean the juicer, take it apart, it just comes right apart. Um, but you need like a big sink to put it in and spray it down. Um, it'd be easier to do it and I'm always spilling things on the, on the floor. So the kitchen is a is a, a, a sticky mess right now. Mmm. Mmm. The cider is really sweet. Even though some of the apples weren't really ripe. Uh, the Shizuka were still a little bit less than ripe. They're a sweet apple, so made it good, good cider. But it still has to settle. I mean, you can tell there's a lot of pulp still floating around in there. As you can see, sticking to the side, oops, sticking to the side of the cup even. Mmm. 
That is good.